Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. So let's get started with the partial fraction. Let's look at the denominator. As you can see that we have one of the factor is linear factors x plus 6 and the other factor x minus 1 is repeating itself twice. So that means we have a repeating factors in the denominator. So let's go ahead and write down first fraction and for first fraction I'm going to put down x plus 6 in the denominator. For the second one for the repeating since it's repeating twice so I'm going to put down two more fractions. So in the first one is going to be a simply x minus 1 and the next fraction is going to be x minus 1 power 2. All right. And on the numerator is going to be for the first fraction is going to be a constant a for the second constant b and for the third constant c. And now our task is to find the values of a, b and c. Now let's focus on the denominator over here this part that's one I'm going to circle it it is x plus 6 times x minus 1 square I am going to multiply this one across the board I am going to multiply x minus x plus 6 times x minus 1 square on the left hand side likewise x plus 6 times x minus 1 square x plus 6 times x minus 1 square and likewise x plus 6 times x minus 1 square all right and now let's look at this thing as you can see this x plus 6 and x plus 6 is gone x minus 1 squared cancels out with this x minus 1 square so we ended up with 7x squared minus 17x plus 38 on the left hand side and now let's look at this one on the right hand side this x plus 6 is gone with this x plus 6 so we got a times x minus 1 square all right on the next one over here we got x minus 1 and here we have x minus 1 square so one of the x minus 1 cancels out so we got only x minus 1 on the top so I can write plus b times x plus 6 times x minus 1 and then let's look at this thing this x minus 1 square is gone with this x minus 1 so we simply got plus c times x plus 6 and I am going to call this equation as equation number 1 and here we have a quick trick look for the linear factors in the denominator and here in the left hand side we can see that we have a x plus 6 is one of the linear factors and the other one is x minus 1 so we got two linear factors I'm going to copy them down over here first one is x plus 6 and the other one is x minus 1 I am going to set both of them equal to 0 so the first one is x equal to negative 6 and likewise set this one equal to 0 so x equal to positive 1 is another x value now let's focus on this first x equal to negative 6 value and here I wrote down put x equal to negative 6 in this equation 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative 6 so let's go ahead and do that one so the left hand side is going to become 7 times negative 6 square 
minus 17 times negative 6 plus 38 equals to here we can see that we have a times uh, x is being replaced by negative 6 minus 1 square and now let's look at this one over here the second over here x is being replaced by negative 6 and then we have a plus 6 negative 6 and plus 6 gives us 0 0 time this whole term is going to become 0 and likewise over here when we replace this x by negative 6 negative 6 plus 6 is going to become 0 0 time this whole thing is going to become 0 so that means I can write over here 0 plus 0 and now let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side this could be written as 7 times negative 6 squared could be written as 36 plus that is is going to be a 102 plus 38 equals to this is going to become a times negative 7 square and over here when we add these one that's going to become 252 plus 102 plus 38 equals to 49a all right and when we add the left hand side this is going to give us 392 equals to 49a that means our a value is going to be simply 8 all right so this is our a value and now let's look at the second value x equals to 1 and here I wrote down put x equal to 1 in equation 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace by 1 so let's get started with that one on the left hand side that is going to become 7 times 1 square minus 17 times 1 plus 38 and on the right hand side as you can see over here when I replace this x by 1 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0 0 means this whole term is going to become 0 likewise over here when I replace this 1 x by 1 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0 0 times this whole thing whole term is going to become 0 so I can write this one 0 plus 0 plus c times and here we have a 1 plus 6 all right on the left hand side we got 7 times 1 square is 1 so I can write 7 minus 17 plus 38 equals to 7c and if I simplify the left hand side that is going to give us 28 equal to 7c that means c value is going to be 4 and now let me show you an easy way to finish off this problem I said let's pick an easy point and the easy point could be x equal to 0 so that means wherever we see x in this equation 1 we are going to replace x equal to 0 that's why I put down put x equal to 0 in equation 1 so let's do this one so the left hand side if this equation is going to become 7 times 0 square I'm going to replace x by 0 
minus 17 times 0 plus 38 equals to on the right hand side this a times 0 minus 1 square plus b times we got 0 plus 6 times 0 minus 1 and plus c times 0 plus 6. Let's look at the left hand side. So 0 times 7 is going to be 0. So we ended up with only 38 on the left hand side equals to a power negative 1 square. So this is a times 1. All right. And then plus b times 6 times negative 1 and plus c times 6. So let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us 38 equal to a minus 6b plus 6c. And here we can easily find out the b value by plugging in a and c over here and we know that a value is 8 and c value is 4. So let's go ahead and substitute the values of a and c. So 38 on the left hand side. a is, I'm going to replace a by 8 minus 6b plus 6 times c is 4. So 38 equal to 8 minus 6b plus 24. And let's simplify furthermore on the left hand side. 38 equals to, that is going to become 32 minus 6b, which gives us 6 equal to negative 6b that means b value turns out to be negative 1. So thus we got figured out a equals to 8, b equals to negative 1 and c equal to 4. So thus in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a I am going to replace it by 8 b by negative 1 and c by 4. And thus you can see the a, b and c values on the top. And here is our final answer and as you can see this negative sign I brought it in the middle and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.